let's let's talk about Jund. Uh, Jund is a pretty interesting archetype in, in Legacy. Uh, it is definitely interesting. Uh, I find it a f- kind of fun. Uh, it does do some very interesting things. Uh, so one of the things that we're going to do with this deck here uh, that we're kind of talking about is just the idea of being able to uh, develop a, a board state and a game plan, uh, kind of that whole mid-range pile kind of fun stuff. Uh, this this We get some access to some pretty cool stuff. Um, we do get access to cards like uh, Orca Spellmaster is obviously a pretty good card in Legacy right now. Uh, we do get access to Thought Seas, um, Outland Liberator, Endurance, uh, Green Sun Zenith, uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker Fury, even Lightning Bolt, uh, as well as Wasteland. Uh, so Wasteland's pretty cool. Uh, I, I definitely enjoy myself a good Wasteland deck. Um, I was playing... A version of this that was playing uh, Grove of the Burn Willows and uh, Punishing Fire. Uh, I always felt like the Punishing Fire never did much uh, so far that I've tried it. It's pretty cool though. I like that there could be a Punishing Fire version. Uh, I know that um, my good friend uh, Strass Daddy has uh, played uh, and streamed this version as well with the the. Um, Punishing Fire version of the deck. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Uh, we are going to play uh, a league with this deck. Uh, so before we get started, I want to uh, thank everybody for uh, watching. Uh, if you are in the chat, please say hi. Uh, we are going to be giving away a um, code uh, for Magic Online uh, tonight. Uh, so when I get around to that, I will uh, drop a giveaway uh, command in the chat, uh, and we will uh, give away a, a code for 120 free play points uh, on Magic Online. Uh, so uh, that will functionally buy you uh, a league or like a draft, uh, and you can uh, come on and play Magic Online. Uh, and I want to thank uh, uh, the uh, Magic Online Creator Program uh, for providing those to us uh, I had to give away. Uh, very cool uh, program. Uh, very happy to be a part of it. Uh, so uh, be on the lookout for more uh, in the future uh, from me uh, in that regard. Uh, I do have a video I did record today, uh, so uh, that'll be coming out uh, pretty soon as well as this video on YouTube. Uh, so please make sure to like, subscribe, follow, all that fun stuff. Uh, and be sure to check out uh, This Week in Legacy uh, on uh, MTG Goldfish. And uh, I also want to point out and thank um, Adriano Catani. Um, some of you might recognize uh, the artwork uh, available uh, here on my new overlay. Uh, that is from uh, Adriano Catani, who is the artist uh, for MTG Goldfish. Uh, so a uh, big shout out to him. A uh, really awesome, awesome guy. And I want to thank him for doing this overlay for me. Uh, so he did a stellar, stellar job. Uh, on it. I'm real pleased with it. Uh, so, uh, if you uh, want to follow his work, uh, you can check him at am at am Katani on Twitter. Uh, and uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be awesome. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. We are going to go ahead and fire up a league with Legacy Jund. All right, let's go ahead and hit play and see what we find. All right, we are right off the bat here. Okay, uh, we are on the draw here. Uh, I never like playing um, Dryad Arbor in decks because uh, inevitably I always draw the Dryad Arbor. I don't think this is fantastic, but it does, it is okay. Um, we do, we could just lead on the Dryad Arbor, maybe. Um, our opponent mulliganed the six cards, uh, so eh, we'll, we'll give it a shot. I, I, Dryad Arbor is the curse of, and bane of my existence uh, to where I always end up uh, in a single game with uh, Dryad Arbor in hand, uh, in my opening hand. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well done. Um, I think this changes our plan just a little bit. I think we have to try uh, and fetch. And I mean, if they got the days, they've got the days. Uh, but I think we try to bolt it and get rid of this thing as soon as possible. Okay. Hey. I, I like dealing with answers, uh, dealing with uh, threats. Uh, that is the name of the game. Now, they could have a wasteland, but they don't. They have a Misty Reinforced, so I'm okay with that. This Outland Liberator is real bad in this matchup at this point, but really at this point, at that point, it's just a beater. Life from the Loam. Wow. I have not seen one of those on a um, Rug Delver style deck in a while, so that's cool. I did have to fetch... I did fetch for a green source. Uh, so... I think we're going to play the Arbor, and then we'll play uh, Ignoble Hierarch. Uh, we'll have to wait on this thought seize. No, it'd be really, really, really cruddy if they had Wasteland Lightning Bolt. Like that would suck. That would not be that would not be pleasant, but Awkwardly I think you bolt like the Um the hierarch. The hierarch is problematic. We definitely have to like engage at some point. Uh, unholy heat. Okay, yeah, you definitely cut cut me off of having black mana. All right, or we just get black mana anyways. Uh, we're good about you. We'll go ahead and we'll thought seize. See what's going on upstairs. I mean, I think we cut them off of their thing. Like, and we just attack. Because then next turn, like, we can cast. Um, hedge maze. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I think I think next turn we can uh, try and engage and uh, try and put something through this um, that force and days. Or at least put them in a position where they have to use. Uh, we could just cut them off of off of red mana entirely. All right. So we know they have a. We know they have a days in hand. We know they have a force. Um. I feel like we could just jam. a green sun on one and kind of just hope for the best. And if they force it, I don't think I care too much because then I can jam Fable of the Mirror Breaker next turn. Really what we're trying to do here. Okay. So they, they X out days and they, they force. I'm actually okay with this. Um, that actually is pretty reasonable. Let's see here. Because I'm not really in any hurry here. I, you know, I, I do need to put the pressure on them uh, at some point. But I think Fable will, will help put that pressure on. So they no longer have Force and Days in hand. So we don't need to worry about knowing that it's there. That it was there. We 
They milled loam, which is interesting. Really shows how much they care about having access to those lands. So this fable of the mirror breaker is more than likely going to resolve, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Jam and a fable. And let's... Fable is such a good card. I would love to have an Endurance here. That would be great. Like, an Endurance would be sweet. Uh, simply because we could then... I don't think I want either of these cards. I just want to discard both of these and, and leverage. Look at that. All right, all right, let's see what's going on upstairs first. They're going to petty theft the Goblin Shaman. I'm okay with that because now I'm going to jam this Endurance into play. Uh... Yeah, they, they don't have anything upstairs yet. But that this endurance ensures sure that they aren't gonna be able to like merc tide or anything like that. Uh which is pretty groovy. Uh and then it also ensures that like I have the ability to now uh on demand with Fable um toss um the uh Reflections of Kiki Jiki, the the endurance, if I have to. I mean, second fable, <laughs> really reasonable. That's pretty good. And I mean, the I should have attacked with the Dryad Armor, but I wanted to keep up the. You can totally play the Brazen Borrower. This this endurance will block that all day long. I mean, that's totally fair. Bolting that is great. I mean, I will continue to block that. It turns out Brazen Borrower can only block things with flying, which is pretty silly. Do I want to keep this bolt? Like, I think that's, like, the most interesting question here. Um, yeah, we'll... We'll go ahead and we will... We will exalt it through the... I think I think that probably I should have kept the bolt, but another volcanic island because uh, this other wasteland it just doesn't do anything. It's cool though. Yeah, we get our. I'm just going to keep making a treasure token. Especially since, like, the pressure's on now. All right, they're seeking the beast. Ponder and Days. Not so good. Uh, here, oh, Ponder is pretty good. Like, they can cast the, the Questing Beast. And then cast Ponder, which is kind of goofy.
I mean, they have to cast the ponder now because they they uh, they have to uh, if they want to boost the. Yeah, sure. That is why we probably should have kept the lightning bolt. But we can now make multiple copies of endurance. So. Yeah, dazing their own uh, own card. Pretty hilarious. So, yeah, being at six life, I probably should have kept that bolt, but... Especially since now they're getting to you know, boost this guy to a 4-4. Four, four. But, like, at the same time, like, I can also just make an endurance with Reflections of Kiki Jiki. And then attack with a 4-5. Dragon's Age Channeler. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I definitely should have kept that bolt. Thinking about it all the time now. So. We're going to fetch. We're going to get the commercial district. Uh, that can definitely go into my graveyard. Yeah, they get to draw two cards here, but I mean I guess like I guess we just kind of hang back and like we just make a uh, endurance in response to the attack, uh, simply because then they have to. Then they can't. They th then they lose their. Um, Dragon's race channeler. Like they're being at five life. Like they can't easily attack with this. Um, this questing druid. Yeah, let's go ahead and make the endurance now. Really, what we were trying to do there is to get rid of the... Um, So a Fury would be, like, fantastic right about now. Because then I could Fury, like, the three. I mean, I think a Bolt is pretty good. Um, I think we make an Endurance. Uh, and then we... Attack. It's a really rough thing to 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 adjust like cuz that then I have to take that out of the consideration. I think we just pass turn and we bolt. I think I'm going back down to like Getting close into that bolt range is pretty interesting. They put a card on top. They probably want to see that for Delver purposes. Okay.
Where do we get to exile? I mean, the thing is, is like that questing druid is nowhere near killing us, and like I have two brainstorms, I can block with a dryad arbor. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see what they they have up their sleeve. This is definitely about a game. Like we're on turn 12. Oh, this is just game one, so this is very interesting. Hmm, they're figuring out what they want for this brainstorm. Okay. I mean, I think we just throw this Dryad Arbor in front of it. I mean, yeah, that is a thing that occurs. Yeah, we get to... So... That is quite interesting. So I think we just, like, see if they have a thing... They have a brainstorm. Oh, they're gonna do it. Oh, oh, the dragon's rush hammer. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we just uh, we hang out. I think we just do this now. Yeah. We make them cast that brainstorm. Putting ponder, putting on top. So they could hit force blue card, but if they force blue card, we bolt them. So that's that's clever. Like we just kind of like have been slow rowing this bolt like the whole time. 
Oh, they're just going to let it resolve. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let's go for the throat. <laughs> They're going to try and hit some hit some gas, I guess. That's funny. No guarantee that they hit force plus blue card uh, off of that. Womp womp. Looks like they're just dead, right? Yeah, all right. See? Jundan. Jundan, Jundan amount. All right, let's load up on these red lasts. Um, so this Outland Liberator, pretty bad here. This Collector Oof, pretty bad. Uh, we still want Fable. Uh, we still want Bowmasters. Uh, oh yeah, we bored out these Thought Seizes. It's like nobody's nobody's business. These Thought Seizes do nothing in this game. Um, Maddening Hex seems cool. Actually, probably Ashiok. Ashiok seems pretty reasonable. <laughs> that was a lot of selection. Hope they missed. Yes, they missed quite a bit. We were just slow rolling the bolt just to see what what we what we could do with that. Good first game though. Um, okay, I like seeing a pirate last in my opening hand uh, against uh, Delver. Not so good against Dragon's Rage Channeler, but. I think we just have to lead on Badlands Bolt. And just hope they don't have days. Yeah, see? Never punished. Just play into the days and never have it, right? Just play like they always have it. Don't do what I do. They are very, they are quite low on time, too. They've been taking a lot of time in this match, uh, I've noticed. Like, we are 17 minutes to their 11, uh, and 11 is quite a bit. They've been really, really thinking about these brainstorms and these ponders and stuff. So, yeah, a lot of triggers on their end hasn't really helped. Oh, another another bulk. Okay. I mean, yeah. Sure. We just uh stop them from doing things. It is really the name of the game here. Play as much board control as we can. They do play multiple traps, which is wild. Or rather, multiple green sources. Just... Yeah, seek the beast. It is a Merktite regent. So, quite interesting. Like, we just have to, like... Hope that they don't have a land drop here. They don't have a land drop, I think we're... Okay, so that there is a... There's a wasteland of their own. Okay, sure. <laughs> just <laughs> taking the opportunity to bolt me. Sure. Uh, so they can't cast that. Um, 
anymore. Come on, Magic Online, let's go. It was clearly a message for all the wastelands that we um, we leveled their way. I guess the question is, is like, do I just like, do I go for like the mana acceleration here and uh, jam this hierarchy, or do I just fade this pyroblast? Like, that's really awkward because I really want to be on board. Uh, I think I really, really need to be on board. Like if they yeah, if they're if they're spending bolts on that, then I'm okay with that. That that's a grist. That's pretty good. So I think I think they're spending all their bolts on the on the ignoble hierarch. I think we're doing a really good job of winning. Here's the here's the the, the nah, it's not worth it. It, it isn't worth it. I thought about pyroblasting it. It's not worth it. If they don't have a, a a thing, we can jam Grist next turn. Okay, so Wasteland's sucky. Although we still may be able to jam Grist next turn. Or we jam Ashiok. I feel like Ashiok pretty good here. Uh, I feel like I get a bayou. Like, Ashiok, pretty reasonable. If they don't have, like... Uh, okay, they had to force that. That's adorable. That, I'm, actually, I'm actually okay with that. They are putting so many resources into this into just not losing at this point. It's really what it boils down to. They're just putting like a million resources into not losing. They gotta be pondering man with for yeah, they gotta they be trying to get mana. They want this questing druid is really what they want, but the questing druid not so good against uh against uh, Mr. Hunger Tide. Grist the Hunger Tide. What are we milling? Ah, uh, we milled a Minskin Boo. That's fine. That Delver is just fine because we have a Pyroblast for it. Or, or we draw a bolt or something like that. Like, and milled a Moloch. I don't like milling Moloch. That kind of stinks. We really just, we were just trying to get on board with stuff. Getting in with exalted. The worry here is that they rip a Merc Tide, but I feel like uh, Grist handles the Merc Tide well. Putting days in the yard, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Like, even if they cast this hedge, this questing druid, loam. <laughs> I don't think Wasteland does anything here, does it? It really doesn't. I, I feel like that was not a good play uh, to me. Because I feel like Wasteland doesn't, doesn't absolutely do anything. Uh, no, we are going to keep that wasteland. Well, no, so they have a loam, uh, so it actually doesn't matter. 
Uh, I would rather heal. <laughs> hey. Moloch, good magic card. All right, let's get on board with this this token here. So Moloch definitely does some work. Again, I, I don't think the Wasteland really did anything. And I feel like even if they Murktide, they're they're not they're not winning. If they cast the the question to red, they're not winning. Yeah, that's fine. We just chuck a if four cards in hand, we chuck we chuck a insect at him. Sure. All right, let's make them have an answer to Minskaboo. Seeking the Beast. Double Dragon's Rage Channeler. This is hot fire right here. This Exalted is just doing all the work. So, yeah, they can cast both of these Dragon's Race Channelers. That's reasonable. They can cast everything. They can cast their Dragon's Race Channeler there. They get to do that, and then they get to cast two Dragon's Race Channelers and make it a 3-3. It doesn't matter. Like, we get to have um, Maw Lock up, which is just absolutely gross. Well, we just killed the um, the questing beast or the questing druid. Questing beast, questing beast would be much better than questing druid in this position. This has been a match, though. This is a really good match. I'm really impressed. My opponent also has five minutes on the clock to my thirteen. Oh, so they're really going in on this. This is great. Like. Them dazing their their own spell just to pay for it really says a lot about what they value here. Um and that's 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 great. Okay. So obviously we're not gonna make another boo. Uh yeah, that seems all right, all right, let's let's do this right. All right, we'll sacrifice a that. Get rid of that. Okay, they <laughs> they just didn't want to play anymore. I had the Ashiok to like destroy the Dragon's Race Channelers and then like put plus one plus encounters on Boo and swing with Boo uh, because that just makes the most sense. Uh, just go immediately deep in on eight eight damage right off the bat. Pretty cool first match. This deck is sweet. I, I'm in love. Like, I love Jund mid range piles anyways. So I just, yeah, this deck is so cool. Uh, very, very pleased so far. Let's find another match. And then after this match, we'll give away some, we'll give away a, uh, a play point. Some play points. Maybe. Uh, I don't see that many people in the chat so far. So uh, if you're in the chat, say hi. 
uh, please. And let's see here. I did send off some play code, some play point codes to folks on Twitter. Uh, so uh, if you were one of those folks on Twitter who won play codes, play point codes, uh, congrats! Uh, love you to death. Let's go. Let's find ourselves a match. There we go. Hey, we are on the draw again. All these on being on the draw. I'm going to be on the play. This seems perfectly fine. Like, whoa. Really, 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 really sick opening hand. Especially they mold to six. Chrome Mox. Goblin Ringleader. They went to three mana for that. Goblin Matron. They going deep. Name Sticker Goblin. Do we just like ro ruin their life uh, <laughs> and just bolt the, the Goblin? I feel like that's that's a good play. That's a heads up play right there. Uh, we will go Badlands. Bonk. Big nope. All right, so we're just going to play the the control game. I'm okay with getting bonked by this thing, uh, just simply because I'm worried about what they do in their post main. Yeah, like that's that's a thing. Um, yeah. I feel like bonking, it's fine. Bonk. What's Thought Seas? You <laughs> ran the Goblin Rabble Master? <laughs> Again, I'm okay with getting bonked because they might play something. Stupid in the second main. Okay, nothing stupid in the second main. Let's jam this with this Bowmasters. You just have to consider the second main always, like. <laughs> oh boy. Minsk and Boo just rocks. Let me tell you. Card is awesome. <laughs> womp womp. Okay. How do I board against goblins? Oh my god. Like, do I even board here? Like, I think it's the question. I don't have anything against this deck, really. Um. Yeah. Like, just nothing. 
Uh, I think feel like the main deck is already good enough against the deck because it's just like a lot of like stuff. But or or I board. I don't even like boarding in surgical extraction. Like, but maybe I do because then they can't win if they don't have the sticker goblin. But I don't like that line of thinking. I think I'll just go YOLO. I don't like this hand. Uh, it does do some things, but if they have like a really fast start and they kept seven, uh, that's real awkward uh, in that regards. Um, but throwing back to six is always risky. Um, yeah, I, don't, I just don't like this hand. Oh, I like this hand much better. Uh, double Volt Fossies. Minsk and Boo seems pretty good. Ah, uh, they're, they're going to chow someone. Yeah, I, okay, so that would have been the um, <laughs> the issue there of what what we should have done. Oh, okay. Fury, Fury's a card. Fury, Fury is indeed a magic card. Yeah. All right, they have Sticker Goblin. Let's see how much mana they make. They get five mana. Okay. Legion War Boss. Yeah. So we get to at least kill the war boss and the sticker goblin. Uh, we're in a commercial district. I can go into the graveyard. We're just going to fury. And try and get rid of some stuff. I mean, yeah. This is problematic. Another Fury would be great. Maybe that's the, the standpoint of not having Thought Seasons in the deck post board. Alright, yeah, we are, we are not winning. Shouldn't have YOLO'd. Should have thought about it some more. Um, probably his Meltdown. Not gonna lie. Uh, and maybe a Force of Vigor. Uh, hey, we might as well just bring both of them in. Uh, scavenging is probably not so good. Okay, Moloch is reasonable here. They're mulliganing too, so. What do we get with. Do we just like do like the Green Sun Dry? Yeah. Well, like, acceleration makes a lot of sense in this, this game. Sun for zero. Get Dread Arbor. Really, we just have to hope they don't have, like, another Chalice on one. Okay. I 
Bigger Goblin. All right, they get five mana off of that. Using it for the chalice on one. <laughs> Clever. All right, so we get to, like, at least take care of the um, Goblin Rebel Master with the Moloch. Because we get to go X, and we get to go for one. And we will fight. Fight, fight, fight. Ra, ra, ra. Let's a go. And having a 3 3 can't hurt. Like, that's pretty reasonable. Granted, they could have, like, a Fury of some sort. Like, I don't know if they play that card. Okay, sure. They're just really trying to, like, ride the, the train. I mean, I I am okay with just having this endurance up. I don't like not having this um this bolt available, but it is a thing we have to worry about. All right, Rabble Master is a thing. All right, let's let's jam this. Yeah, we'll put my 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 stuff back on. Yeah, Mentor is a thing. Unfortunately, we're going to take four, because we have to kill both of those. I mean, that's highly reasonable, and we can't cast it, but we can... So we do that. All right, and we fable of the mirror breaker, get ourselves a two two. It would have been really nice to have hard cast that, that fury. Like that would have been just chef's kiss. Moloch being able to like bombardiers. Broadside bombardiers. We have to block that, don't we? Like, if they attack with it, we have to block block it. Okay, they're just not going to. That's cute. <sighs> no? Because we, we just cut them off of mana. And we just hang back. Like... We then be able to, like, have Fable of the Mirror Breaker up. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, you... 
most assuredly got did got your ripped another city of traders. <laughs> Stop casting things. You're not allowed to do that. I mean, yeah, this thought seize does nothing. We get to a point where we can start, like, tossing uh, Molochs at them. Hey, thank you, uh, was it uh, Moses the Coot uh, for following? And also, <laughs> we just got a raid from uh, good old Strastaddy. So thank you, Strastaddy, uh, for uh, raiding us. That's awesome. I don't think this Blood Moon matters, like, literally at all. Like, you have to kill the reflections of Kiki Jiki. Yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> Just got a 5 0. Oh, man. Uh, we are in the midst of game one of a. Uh, of, the, of the second match of the league, so. Uh, so I'm 1-0 so far, uh, I'm stressed, Andy. Thank you, everybody, for the follows. I really appreciate it. So many Legacy Jun players. Yes. Okay. <laughs> they they conceded. Okay, so we are we are now 2-0. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, so this this is so sweet. Uh, it's such a great uh, deck so far. So um, I since we've got people in the chat now. Uh, I am going to be tossing a giveaway in the chat, uh, and that giveaway will be for a 120 play points on Magic Online. Uh, so uh, you're going to type the word uh, card, uh, but don't type it yet. Don't type it yet. Uh, you're only going to do it once, uh, and uh, we will go from there. All right. Please type the following. There's no currently no giveaway running. I did start it. Hold on. Stream Elements is being mean to me. There are new users in the giveaway. Okay, hold on. All right, giveaway has started. You may type card. Only once. Type it now. There we go. Crad. Card. Card. And in order to receive, you must be uh, getting, uh, be able to message me on Twitter. Uh, so at VolrathXP. There's an issue with streaming to Chromecast. I don't know the resolution. Uh, I'm not streaming to Chromecast. I'm using stream elements. It was just being weird. Uh, so keep going with those cards, uh, and I'll give it about... Uh, if you haven't already entered, uh, I'll give it about another minute or so. So type the word card if you have not entered yet. And at 9.54 here, we will... Oh, no, I can't stream it to my Chromecast. Oh, um, I have no idea. Yeah, to be really honest with you. And again, uh, everybody, thank you for joining us. Uh, we will be uh, continuing the league here shortly. Uh, I definitely uh, am enjoying this deck so far. Uh, this John deck is sweet. Uh, and again, thank you to the Magic Online Content Creator Program. Uh, I couldn't do this without them. Uh, it's so awesome. And I couldn't give away these uh, sweet you know, play points and stuff without them. So uh, definitely uh, check them out. Uh, also, thanks again to uh, Adriano Catani, uh, who did the new overlay. Uh, so uh, it's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and toss the giveaway command away. 
All right, and the winner is High Star One Three Three Seven. Uh, so High Star One Three Three Seven, please reach out to me and give me a message on Twitter. Uh, so that is at VolrathXP. I will put the link in the chat for you. And uh, basically just reach out to me on Twitter and I will send you a code uh, that you can redeem on Magic Online uh, for 120 play points. All right, let's uh, keep going. Yeah, thank you. All right, so... Hey, we are on the, the the play, actually, for once. That's great. I like being on the play. I also don't like being on the play with a hand completely with no lands in it. This would be great if there were, like, a couple lands. Like, it would just be awesome. <laughs> the mulligan punt. Okay. This... No, we can we can we can do something with this. Um I don't I I, I want to put back Minskin Boo cuz yeah. Um I don't want to put back Fable, but I like Hmm. I think it's like hard here. Like this is a decision like cuz there's like all cards here I want to want to keep, but I do want to have these Bowmasters on the offhand that they are on a blue deck. Uh but simply because blue blue deck uh, but I think we laid on Ignoble Hierarch, so, like, that's awkward. Like, I think it might be Green Sun Zenith, which is weird, but I don't like doing that. And I don't like tossing back a free spell. Uh, thank you, Moro Bigorna. Thank you for following. Uh, we'll, we'll go and we'll toss back the Fable. I think that's, that's fair. I don't like it, but having to toss back two cards, okay, they just aren't responding at all to the they're just they're just f sixing through my turn so they may not be on a blue deck we'll see green deck oh 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 no oh no things have occurred yavamaya it be lands So does so let's let's see here like what do, what do we what is what is a good do we even do anything here or do we think about like endurance flash or do we green sun zenith for something like um, scavenging ooze per se or outland liberator ooze seems like a really good card against uh, the stack. Didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, it's hard. Like, what do you get here? Uh, or do you get anything at all and you just uh, endurance them? If they... Yeah, ooze. I, I'm okay with getting ooze. It's a good card. It is a really rough decision, though. I don't like this matchup, per se. Like, the deck that plays Infinite Wastelands seems quite good. Oh, okay, we, we just have that. So we have to hold up this Endurance, then, I think, is really what it boils down to. And then we have to find an answer? They're just going to go ahead and do it. Okay, that's interesting. Huh. I mean, I think we have to, like, hold up the Endurance and then, like, die. <laughs> but at least it's a turn. A turn of not dying. Uh... Like, yeah. I mean, they probably just have, like, a plow or something like that. Let's... Let's see what they've got. Like, 
Hold up, endurance die is a decent line. Yes, yes it is. Okay. Interesting. Oh, ha, hold up, Sajiri step die. <laughs> okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, I guess this Blood Moon comes in. Um, <laughs> like, seems seems fine, man. Um, yeah, I don't I don't like it at all. Um, oh, um, Ashiok seems quite good here because uh, you can uh, make it so they can't search their library and you can exile their graveyard. Um, I don't like Collector Oof. I also don't like Outland Liberator. Bowmasters also. Pick your poison. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that card's quite good. Yeah. I don't like Liberator, though. Um, Bolt also feels weird. Bowmasters feels weird. Everything in this deck feels weird against this deck. Like, do I want Force of Vigor? Like, yeah, I mean, it does kill, like, Urza's song. <laughs> like, what am I doing with my life, Jack? I'm going to take a drink think about this for a second. All right. Because um, I don't like... Like, Bowmasters feels really awkward in this deck. Surgical. I just don't like Bowmasters. I think it was really what it boils down to. Um, like, I think I just don't want any of these Bowmasters. Surgical could be, like, great because of when we can, like, thought see Surgical them. Um, I have 61 cards still. Um... Fury, maybe? Because Fury doesn't feel any good. Thossie's also bad. I guess, yeah. Maybe we just go... I, I don't... Bolt? What else am I taking out here? <laughs> like, I play Red Blast? Yeah, it's just a bad matchup. Uh, I'm going to take out a bunch of magic cards and put in a bunch of other magic cards. And I'm going to put in Madding, Madding Hex just because I can. Like, I don't know. It's just a bad matchup. Well, we'll see. I mean, Bolt also bad, but like Force of Vigor, good. I don't know. I don't want to throw it back because I know we'll just die, but I don't like this. This seems better. Like, it's got nothing in it, but it's good. It's got a wasteland. <laughs> Why? Oh, fine. We we'll we'll bin this, and then we'll we'll lead on wasteland and send a message. <laughs> We're sending a message. It's called wasteland. Look at it. And then, if we really want to, we can like pitch. Endurance to force a vigor or pitch Gris to force a vigor. I I probably should have bolted five, uh, but that's okay. It's about sending a message. So I do have a video that it will be coming out after this one, because I'm, I'm gonna process this over the weekend and post this to YouTube. So be sure to check out the YouTube, first of all, uh, at Vorath XP on YouTube. Um, you, obviously, you can hit the link tree uh, for everything. Like, that's the best part. Uh, but um, it is worth noting. Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> okay, we get to do, like, a dumb thing here. Uh, and we have to like, Man, we'll just get rid of that. We'll vigor them. I don't like the fact that I've drawn nothing, but like, do I waste? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Let's go. Let's send a message. But anyways, uh, I, I do have a video coming um, to, like, after this video. Uh, and basically what we're going to do is, what it's for is for the um, 
that the goofy uh, wheels runehorn hellkite deck that Killaby was playing. Um, that's pretty cool, uh, pretty neat deck. Uh, so we're gonna be playing that. We're gonna have a video on that. Um, this is really worth looking forward to because uh, there is a match in there where I do get to kill my opponent on uh, turn zero on their upkeep uh, with a leyline of indecision. <laughs> so <laughs> well worth checking out. Do I just like do I do anything here? Like delighted halfling seems fine. Like I could go get delighted halfling. Yeah, man, mana dork and aggressed like seems reasonable. And I believe that Mana Dork has to be Delighted Halfling because it's a 1-2. The fact that I actually did something by cutting them off of lands of some sort, I'm, I'm just going to take it. Like, screw it. It's not even worth it. Is this what we do? Because I have um I have a, a swamp and I can just cast Gris next turn. This seems really good. <laughs> yeah, we can take we're gonna take one, but man, this game is wild, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is it is wild. There's a blood moon. I'm <laughs> sure you were dead on the open. <laughs> it turns out ha being able to force a vigor, a. Um, I mean, sure. Grist the hunger tide, making an insect. I mean, we we did force a vigor away like their only colored source, plus, and yeah, soul guide lantern's fine. Yeah, sure. I'm not playing light from the loam. Yeah, I mean, we 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 block that all day long. That's totally okay. Uh, okay. We... Do we surgical something here? Like, they're... Like, a land, maybe? Like, or do we, like, pick your poison? I feel like we can pick your poison, and that just, like, shuts off a lot. Oh, no, we can't pick your poison. Sorry, because we don't have green. Oh, boy. Woo, yeesh. Okay. Sure thing. Yeah, not having green there kind of stinks. I mean, we just, we have to, to. I feel comfortable now uh, getting rid of Their, their thing. And you can just get some attacking in. Drawing a card with Soul Gain Light Turn. I mean, this feels like a great game. <laughs> like, we are turn seven and they're discarding cards to hand size. <laughs> and I'm drawing just a million uh lands <laughs> that are all mountains <laughs> and we are chipping away for one a turn here it's great this is exactly how you do how magic works oh yeah sure that's fine We have enough mana, I think, that it doesn't really matter. 
I can't cast the <laughs> I can't cast this Queen Sun Scene. <laughs> oh, but we could have cast that Fable of the Mirror Breaker. That makes me sad. That would have been clutch. Now we're swinging for two a turn. My concern is that they are just like holding up like a force of vigor or something like that and just waiting for like the the you know, kill the blood moon. I mean I am I'm half tempted to like surgical their hand just so I can see what's going on. Yet another sphere of resistance. I am okay with this. I mean, that Fable of the Mirror Breaker seems great. We are doing things. That Blood Moon, like, really turned this game around. Okay, sure. <laughs> wow! Wild that that was a game that worked. Um, Yeah, I mean, sure. None of these cards are good. <laughs> Moon for the win. That's correct. Do you like the blood moons? I mean, it, it really just helped that we had that swamp, and then we had, um, you know, um, delighted halfling. Although delighting halfling could have just been like ignoble hierarch, uh, and it probably would have been fine, like. At least I would have had green for, like, other things. A Minskin Boo would have been really good in that scenario. That would have been really cool. Meltdown is a consideration. Yeah, that actually is a consideration. We'll do a Meltdown over a Bolt. I'm okay with shaving a Bolt for a Meltdown. It, it seems pretty good. They're playing Sphere. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, Seeds of Innocence is a cool card. Uh, I think the thing is with Meltdown is that... Um, these like patchwork stompy decks are definitely seeing lots of play, uh, and it wipes constructs pretty quickly. Uh, and so it's just a little bit more mana efficient at wiping constructs. <clears throat> I think there's cases to be made for both. I guess it just, it really depends on what you are playing against. Yeah, when wait more kappas, I think really is the biggest thing. I mean, yeah, uh, we could roll over and die regardless, but uh, this seems better than most things. Yeah, but Maya depths. So I think we just, like, hold up this wasteland? And, like, hope that they don't know, like, the interaction at all.
diamond in the rough. Oh, they're gonna loam. Okay. So I think we can like pick your poison. There, um, <laughs> pick your poison might come up big. Yeah, like, do we pick your poison? Their exploration, uh, because it is sorcery speed. Um, like we have to consider that they have like a crop rotation or something in hand, and that they just know how the interaction works. Here's the question: Do we surgical? this life from the loam i think we do it seems correct uh simply because we can see what's going on in their hand also i just don't want them to have loam they could rebuild off of a loam yeah no i think it makes sense Take care of the, the engine piece. Okay, they have they do have a crop rotation in hand. So they could crop rotation into I think we only had two loams in their deck entirely. Wow. So they have crop rotation in hand. Right. Yeah, I, I, exploration doesn't matter. They don't have any loams. So, like, they're respecting going for it. That's clever. I, I'm enjoying that. Reclaimer. So pick your poison could pick off this reclaimer. Oh, no, that's a uh, creature with flying. Okay. Uh... Let's just hold up the, the fetch. Sun for Arbor. No. I want to have this scoose up. I like playing the scoose and then just continuing to hold up. Um, this wasteland. This crop rotation doesn't do anything. Saga is problematic, but like we also could um, green sun. Like, that's the problem. You can Moloch the Reclaimer, but it doesn't stop this, um, this saga. Like, that's what bugs me. The saga bugs me. Liberator is okay, too, yeah. I think that makes the most sense, but then we can't, like, green sun for it and then use it. That's problematic. Does that matter, though? They have to cast a spell to prevent it from doing its thing. Yeah, I think I'm okay with getting Liberator. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking it could flip. <laughs> that was kind of a, a clever clever thing Or 
are we considering doing a Elvish Reclaimer flip? <laughs> They're really thinking that one through. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's the issue there. So I think we just like force them to do it, like right, like we we force them to do it, and then we pick their pick their poison. We we force the issue. I don't think it'll flip, but we force the issue. Like, we make them do it. Because then we pick their poison. Oh, interesting. They literally just chose to not go on the 2020 route. That's interesting. Very interesting. Huh. Clever. That is that is a clever, clever, clever game. Interesting. I guess, do we just pop, like, and then, or do we, like, Minsk and Boo? Because now Pick Your Poison, well, yeah, and Pick Your Poison's weird here, because that's, it is a, it is a game. Wow. <laughs> okay, I wish I had another surgical, like, that would be great, like, just surgical, though the depths because I don't I don't like hmm. it is a hard 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 sell yeah he can make a token in my turn yeah there was, they can make a token in my turn sorry opponent uh be better than that um and Scoos isn't getting any things I would try to act like you have the edict. So like, but I guess that's true. Like the instant speed edict. Okay. Okay. I mean, Maybe we just do that. Maybe we attack. Yeah, they probably they probably don't. Yeah. I mean, we just. See if they have a. Interesting. Oh, ha ha! Clever. We just died to the twenty twenty. Yep. All right. <laughs> Shake it off. That was a that was a tricky game. I definitely think that was that was interesting. There are a lot of ways that could have gone. Yeah, no, I I feel like that's correct. It is definitely rough. So yeah, the the other video I referenced, um, definitely check that out. Uh, oh yeah, the other line I would say was hit the mocks. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we're real excited to be getting out some content this week. Uh, it'll be really, really fun. Uh, all right, hey, we are on the play. I don't like this, but it's not terrible. Like, it has lands and has spells, but it doesn't do anything before turn three. Uh, and I don't like doing things at turn three. Like, it's... That's rough. Um, now, granted, there's a wasteland. Um, that's reasonable enough in itself. Um, I don't like it, though. I don't... I don't think I should keep it. It's definitely... I'm thinking. Yeah. If they, the only thing good thing is the wasteland, then I'm just like, I'm just considering shipping it back. This is much better. Uh, we'll pop that guy down there. And then, yeah, we will. Green sun for zero. Oh, yeah, see? So we just bolt this goblin welder and then scoos. No, not tap for green. Tap for red. Just cast that scoos. And start eating their their hand. Oh, and we get to um <laughs> for Mori Vault. Sure. The Legion Extruder enters my vault deals to you. Yeah, sure. I am still playing a main deck collector roof, so Main deck collector oof does some things that we like to do. Sure, you have you have a saga. You have a soul guy and lantern, yep. So a wasteland would be fantastic right about now. Like the waste wasteland would be just like absurd. It's a bolt. Let's see what's going on upstairs. Legion extruder, pyroblast. We will take that away. Yep. I mean, sure. You you absolutely have a Let's go get another red source. Get a Badlands. It is going to be a big old construct. Yep. He's a five five. The biggest issue would be Lava Spur Boots. Uh, that, oh, well, they can't equip it, though, so. Yeah, okay. Ew! Oh, I don't like that. Nope, I just lose to the old, uh, them having a fury? What? Fine. Fine. You did the thing. All right, I don't. I don't like Bowmasters in this matchup. I also like Ashiok here. Blood Moon also seems reasonable. 
Surgical also seems reasonable. <clears throat> See, I like the bolts because I like being able to bolt like welders and painters and sh stuff like that. So. And I like Moloch because you can do things with Moloch. Oh, we'll shave a... We'll shave a Mexican boo. I mean, this is highly reasonable. Like, Force of Vigor. Very good. Yeah. You have... Uh, we'll get a forest. Uh, we will green sun. For a hark. We have a force of vigor. Seems quite good. Ah, uh, yeah, against Agatha Soul Cauldron. I think we just tag it in the land. And we blood moon them. We have blood moon and then we melt down like on the upkeep. That's fine. Yeah, we can't cast that yet. We hold up the meltdown for like a something really, really gross. Oh, we get to Moloch, the, the, um. Yeah, that seems good. I think we hit the meltdown this next turn, depending on what they do here. Oh yeah, we absolutely hit the meltdown this next turn. Chose blue. So, do they have a pirate last in hand, I think is the real question here. We're playing into it, but they have to have it. Yeah, they, they have it. Yep. I think if we, like... Hit another red card, we can fury them, which would be really good. Yeah, sure. Or we do that, like we have
collector if engineer Ugh, there's a chaos defiler in the yard now that's gross I think we're dead uh yeah absolutely dead cool all right well I guess we're playing for a three two or a two three at this point um definitely didn't seem like a great uh yeah lols I don't know that um yeah three two of the dream <laughs> sorry I couldn't get a five out for you all right hey we are also on the play again for the last round yeah this is this is reasonable yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting um, getting uh, Ashok into play would have been great. Maybe Blood Moon. Yeah, and Ashok probably weren't weren't the best things to have going on. We just have to hope like for like a Delver matchup or something like that. I feel like this deck like really does well against Delver. We want to be able to like lead on like ignoble hierarch and then wasteland. That seems pretty good. The curse of the dryad arbor opening hand. Okay. Alpine Moon is interesting. I, I do like that card. The card's pretty cool. Play a blue land. Play a blue land. Play a blue land. Tabernacle. Okay. No. No. We'll just... I'll hold it up. First, nothing. Yeah, I mean that wasteland's fine. I don't think you you're doing what you think you're doing with this this. We do have up endurance, like that's pretty good here. Lands yet again. Saga. The another wasteland would be great right about now. Nope. Buy you. I guess we have up endurance. Like we just hard cast an endurance. And that seems reasonable, honestly. Do they just not have, like, a... A land? Or... Okay, yeah, they have a Thespian stage, that's... That's cute. Yeah, I think we have to cast this. Playing against lands yet again, uh, really awkward. Just kind of forcing us to cast this. 
Yeah, you got my bayou. All right. I mean, Fury doesn't really do anything here. It's kind of bad. Um, I have to expect they have crop rotation. Like, that's probably accurate. Just going to make them make a construct. Another construct. Box diamond. But you can a bargain. We all just bolt one of these. Old boys. So a wasteland would actually be pretty reasonable because then it would... Okay. Sphere of Resistance is a card. It's a magic card. I think I'm, we were more worried about life in the loam. Yeah. Just not let them have those lands back. Is it awkward that the the possible line here is just like Exile Fury to Minsk and Boo attack for four? I don't not don't think I'm casting this um, this Fury, and I don't think I'm casting this Minsk and Boo in this game. Attack them for four. I am okay with you pay paying three for a a life in the loam here. Kind of have to be. You only getting back one land also it doesn't really like help too much. I mean, I think we're just constricting your mana development by that, but... We're going to get there four points of damage at a time, maybe. Ancient Tomb, Ancient Tomb is not a great... Uh, hit off of Life from the Loam. <laughs> That's a pretty poor Life from the Loam. I'm okay with this. This is constricting you more than I think it's constricting anybody else. 
I mean, yeah. Hacking for five. Okay, the Maze of Ith is a thing. But, like, we can also, like, attack around that. Like, with hacking with multiple things. You're paying four for this life of the Mullen for one land? That's pretty good I am pretty happy with that exchange this exchange gets way better if <laughs> never punished look at that womp 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 alright all these these things come in all the blood moon all the surgicals I still think I like like some number of thought seas here. I don't like bowmasters. It just seems bad. But I think I have to take out take out the thought seas, unfortunately. Like I'm on the draw too, so. Meltdown could be a thing that occurs. I'll shave a bolt. All right, let's hope for the best. That was a cool game one. Uh, let's hope for like a, a sick game two. I mean, this doesn't really do anything on the draw. I don't like it on the draw. Maybe we'll mulligan on the draw. I mean, there's an Ashiok in here. And a Surgical. They mulligan too, so. And an Endurance. Yeah, there's one land, but like... We have like things we can do. Plus, we're up a game, so... I'm gonna put back this cell in Liberator, though. Okay. We are going off to the races right off the bat. Exploration stage. I mean, we just kind of hold it up, right? Like, I mean, I could have, like, done it right then and there. And then surgical it, which would have been kind of fun. They're really thinking about what they want to do. Ways to surgical, yes. Um, so I think we just do it right then and there. And then we wait until after they cast um,
Yeah. Yeah, they have surgery. Uh, they have a... So my own wasteland here would be like really good. That's also pretty reasonable. We'll just get a forest. Expedition map is rough here. Because they can get Saga. And that's like the other way that they win the game. I'm okay with you wastelanding something here. Them getting to get Saga is rough. Like, that's that's rough. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're just playing this game. Okay. Because they had it in hand. That's goofy. Well then. Uh, we are probably not winning this game, but we'll play it out a little bit and see what happens. Oh yeah, we're most assuredly not winning this game. They pivoted really well in this game. Yeah, that would do it. Oh yeah, we're we're not winning. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I take out those bolts and since we're on the play, we'll toss some thought seizes in. That way we can like thought seize like a loam or something like that or an exploration and take it. That was rough. This will make for a cool video, at least for, like, the fact that, um, <laughs> you can see just how it lands. Yeah, second oof might be good. Um. Oh. oh, I didn't get it in time. Whoopsie. Um. Sure, actually. Double Wasteland seems pretty great. Yeah. Exploration. <laughs> Be, <laughs> I would laugh so hard if their if their answer is just double wasteland. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 
legit. Just the most brutal of openings that one could possibly ever think about. Wow. That was nuts. Needle naming wasteland. That, it, this is, wow, just absolutely brutal. Stage, sure. And I and I proceed to draw all my wastelands. Like, <laughs> clever. So I have an endurance, at least, if they try to, like, loam. They probably have a crop rotation or whatever in hand. I mean, I would have liked to have cast this uh, Ashiok and just drew triple wasteland. <laughs> My opponent says L L L in the chat. Like, yeah, guess what? Like, I just drew like the wrong half of my deck. Like, cool story, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Saga's good card, I hear. Pretty reasonable. So she's gonna lose to not be able to wasteland any of these cards because of not having wastelands. That is not a good land to have drawn. Dang. Womp womp. Ms. Kabuki went really hard. All right. Do we have anything that kills constructs? They have to have like lava spur boots or something like that, right? The card's super good. More and more, I will say this more and more saga decks should be playing uh, lava spur boots. The card is absolutely insane. Uh, it, it just <laughs> it does so many things. Yeah, I could have done that. Like, that's probably what I should have done. I was thinking about that Fable of the Mirror Breaker, I think. I tunneled in on that and shouldn't have. Okay, Expedition Map. Not a card that... So, would be hilarious if we, like, just ripped Meltdown. <laughs> Reasonable chat. <laughs> Reasonable. <laughs> Bye. My wastelands work now. Oh, that was great. Wow. <laughs> that was a call beyond all calls. I am digging it. Yeah, we're going to cast this fable. So that we can get a creature on board. Because if they have any sort of like thing like a loam or anything like that, we can. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. What a call. What a call. The meltdown that saved the world. That was just perfect. Like just rip meltdown win the game <laughs> that's great oh i'm dying here all right let's let's open this treasure chest uh because i'm just curious what's in it uh i like opening chests they're fun uh oh let me let me find it here curse this account hey there we go yeah, let's just open it and see what's going on in in this sphinx of uthun and workshop warrior war chief okay sure so okay uh this will make for a very amusing video i'm sure uh so uh thank you folks uh for watching uh thank you stress study for the raid uh thank you everyone for uh, hanging out with me for a little bit 
uh, I'm going to go to bed uh, here pretty soon. Uh, but at, for those who will be watching later on YouTube, uh, thank you for watching this video. Have a great rest of your week. And uh, be sure, to, again, to like, subscribe, follow uh, everywhere. Uh, hit me up on Twitter. And, uh, well, we'll have a great night and see you guys. Uh, yeah, um, you let me figure out how to do that. Um, I don't Twitch much, so um, how do I... How do I do that? Is that just like slash raid? What is it? Tony Scaponi? Right? Twitch.tv slash Tony. I think so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, let's raid Tony. All right. And we have raided Tony. And have a great night, everybody. And so we are going to take it easy and have a great night, everybody. Again, uh, just, uh, you know, check out YouTube and everything. And thank you again to uh, the Magic Online Creator Program. Uh, super awesome. And we will see you all next week, maybe. Uh, we'll see. <laughs>